I'd hate to die like your son, clawing at my neck, foam and bile spilling from my mouth, eyes blood red, skin purple. Must have been horrible for you, as a king's guard, as a father. It was horrible enough for me, a shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. You see, I'd never seen the poison work before. Tell Cersei, I wanted to know it was me. Oh man, that was so cold. I just love it how she leaves it so cold like that. Welcome back to the Educated Barfly, guys. Obviously, we're doing a Game of Thrones episode. Uh, today, we're doing an original cocktail of mine called the Rose of High Garden, and it was inspired uh, in part by uh, Olena's dispatch of the monstrous King Joffrey, uh, but then also kind of inspired by the moment that you just saw where Olena just had to t make sure that Cersei knew that it was her that poisoned Joffrey and not Tyrion. Uh, I just thought that was the best revenge ever and, and, and you know, honestly, a very elegant way to go. She was gonna be forced to take poison, that was a very elegant way to go. So I wanted my cocktail to be as elegant as that. I wanted my cocktail to sort of have the same color, kind of the colors that I would think that the, um, that the that High Garden would have and that House Tyrell has. Obviously their sigil is a rose, so we're doing something on that and I decided to make a play on a clover club um, because it's such an elegant cocktail and it's such so elegantly balanced. So let's get into the drink. First thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of raspberry syrup. Fresh raspberry syrup, which is the maceration of raspberries into simple syrup. And then three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And then I decided to use this Dr. Bird rum. It's Jamaican rum, it's 100 proof. It's got all that nice fogo. It's kind of sweeter on the palate. It's got those like, really tropical notes, kind of mango, bananas really, really prevalent in its flavor profile. We're doing one and a half, we're doing one and three quarters of an ounce of the Dr. Bird rum. And then we're gonna just follow it up with a quarter of Campari just to get that little bitter note that we want both, you know, kind of a representation of Olina and her attitude. Her wonderful attitude, I might add. And we're just going to crack an egg and do a little, get the egg white out. We're doing a separate tin just in case uh, the yolk falls in there and we don't mess up our whole mixture. We're just going to set that aside. And then we're just going to mix this. Give it a second. I'm going to wipe my hands. I think I'm going to throw this out while we're waiting. Just don't want to have that egg yolk around. going to... Wipe my hands a little bit more, put it on here, and then we'll do a little dry shake. <laughs> I forgot something in this video too, but I didn't make a big deal out of it. Oh, I forgot something big. Do you know what it is? Maybe a piece of ice to shake with. Could that be what I forgot? I'm just going to be shaking with a single cube here because you want this drink to be... Okay, so the single cube will give you less dilution and it gives you superior texture to the cocktail. And you really want to have that texture. Therefore, you can shake it a tiny bit longer. I think that about does it. And we're gonna do a nice ah, little double strain into our glass. All right, now we are gonna be garnishing this with a pink rose, but I am not going to 
garnish it yet. I am going to taste it first. And then we're going to garnish it. Mmm. This is the perfect balance between bitter and you get that, I don't want to call it sweet. That like Fogo flavor that you get from Jamaican rum is not sweet. It is like banana forward. You get like tropical fruit flavors. It's not sweet, but it's paired really elegantly with the um, Campari. And then you get, you know, a really, so the raspberry syrup is it's going to be sweet, but it has that kind of raspberry flavor and it's mixing with the lemon juice that makes it really tart. So there you have it, my friends, the Rose of High Garden. Let's toast Olena and the destruction of the Lannisters with this lovely cocktail. I will see you on the next one. Oh, we are going to garnish now. Ah. Wah, voila. So there's our drink and I will see you on the next one. If you guys like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you wanna follow us on Patreon and give us a little couple of shekels to help our channel, it's patreon.com backslash the educated barfly. Until next time.